Welcome back to more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I was sitting here minding my own business when suddenly there are footsteps outside. Really? The snake is going to have footsteps? <laughs> well, apparently that is the heaviest snake you've ever encountered in your life. But still, uh, we will go take care of it as soon as I get my all pike. Because I'm not going to miss, or rather mess up, our lovely playthrough uh, by trying to smack a snake with my bare hands. Now, finding said all pike in this hot mess of uh, gear is going to be more of a challenge. There we go. So, as you can see, I have done a little bit of work. Oh, God. I like how it gave the uh, little zombie sound <laughs> when we killed it. Uh, is this giant? It's a giant rattlesnake. Oh, hello. Okay, so hang on a minute. You, you literally were at our doorstep. So, can we... Uh, how are we going to do this? This is not... No, we don't want to take down. We can stand on the table. We don't have the necessary tools. Let's get ourselves something. Let me drop my all pike. Let's grab... Everything... Quality of skinning... Butchery. Sorry. Quality of butchering? Where did my, um... Where did all my weapons go? Here we go. So probably just a combat knife would be fine. We, have, we might actually have a butchery knife somewhere. I think if I do my search from here, I'm at the right spot. So, quality of butchering. Uh, we have a steak knife, combat knife, trowel, Swiss army knife. I think this is going to be the best one. Unless there's an actual knife for butchery. I don't think we're going to be able to do too much different. Alright, let's go ahead and do uh, a full butchery. We should be able to do it. You'll need a saw to perform the full butchery. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. We're going to get this done. I'm excited. All right, we're going to grab a wood saw. Wield the wood saw. I don't know if, if wood saw or hacksaw is what we need here. Yeah, sure enough. Okay, apparently. We harvest chunks of meat, scrap meat, things like that. What, how much did we did it get up, uh, give us? So, that was actually quite a lot of the uh, meat. That's pretty exciting. Let me wait to get my uh, the um, heartbeat down. So, you left us a lot of stuff. I would love to prepare that stuff in order for us to not be the hungry. So, let's do... <laughs> let's move stuff to the southwest. I'm going to search for all charcoal. Is this all the charcoal we have? Really? I could have sworn... Here's a charcoal smoker. Okay, we'll move that too. So, let me grab the charcoal smoker. I'm, I'm literally grabbing the entire stack right now, I know. Um, so we could insert charcoal, a uh, chunk of meat, all the chunk of meat we found from the, the little feller. Reload with charcoal, you don't have any because it's actually in our hands. So, how else can we do preservation here? Let me go to my food menu. Dehydrated meat, food dehydrator or charcoal smoker. Right, we got that part. That is the only thing we can do here, right? I want to make sure that there's no other options for preservation. I could... If I go up on my chair and I go to my food and meat, we don't have anything new, do we? It's still pretty much dehydrated meat. Uh, or sorry, that's for dry. What about smoked, right? We were talking about smoked earlier. So smoked meat, pretty much the charcoal smoker, same thing as before. All right, so I think we can just do ahead and, uh, sorry, go ahead and prepare it this way. So search for smoke. Smoked meat, we can only do one because of the charges, pretty much, right? That's kind of a bummer. I really thought we'd be able to do a lot more long-term storage here. God, what did I grab? Everything? Can I apply the charcoal smoker? Apparently not. But we literally have a charcoal smoker. Oh, we don't have as much food. We took, we put all the food inside of the rack. Okay, let's um, grab the food. There we go. So now if we go into here, we should have some more batches. Oh, wow. We can make a crap ton of smoked meat. It's going to take 50, or sorry, five hours. Batch time savings, 83% at th better, more than three units. So does this mean that we're, we're doing everything faster when we batch it? I have no idea what that means. So we're going to spend all day pretty much doing this. We are starving. So before we get started, let's go ahead and eat some food that we have with us. I kind of grabbed every, I relocated the fridge. That's why everything's sticking out like that. So if you're wondering why I had the food in the on the floor, and so everything is freaking out. So let's grab a bit of 
something, because we are going to be sitting here uh, for quite a while messing around with food. All right, there we go. We'll just smash down some balonies. We'll also grab some water. Okay, that should be good enough. So hopefully we can stand here and do this preparation. I want to do this as soon as I can, though, so we can have as much smoked meat long term. Uh, I, maybe I should have moved everything to the freezer. Eh, regrets are regrets. It's all right. Okay, you've put the smoked meat on the table. So, do we have to stop because we were starving? I still see... How much food do we have there? There's uh, 11 units of smoked meat. I'm pretty sure all of our charcoal is empty. The charcoal smoker there is empty. However, we could reload, reload it. While that's happening, though, I want to take a look at all this stuff here. It's going to be more than 19 hours. This is fresh. Can I grab... Let's do this. Let's move from here to here. I want to grab all of the raw meat. Where's that? To the northeast? Okay, here we go. All of this stuff that's that's raw. With the exception of... Well, actually, with the smoked meat. That's fine. Let's bring it all inside. Which one of these is my freezer? Okay, the one to the right is the freezer. We also need to turn this on. So, vehicle controls, turn on fridge, turn on freezer. <gasps> we have no battery, do we? Swappable storage battery. Are you dead? Oh, you're completely dead. What about you out here? Have you been charging up? Hey, you're actually a full battery. God, I love this game. This is so much fun. Let's remove the battery. With the strength of one, right? Okay, so let's just get a jack. Okay, scissor jack. That's a lifting of one, right? Jacking of one. Is it lifting or jacking of one that we need? I don't really know which one we're gonna we're gonna use here. Let's go ahead and also wear a backpack. For some reason, I don't have any kind of a backpack right now. So let me get something with some storage on it. Maybe that's not filthy. Just to make people happy. Sure. Let's grab this Molly pack. Okay, we got our bottle jack. And we're going to try to move this out. So remove the swappable storage battery. So lifting one. So a bottle jack does not count as lifting of one. So we actually do have to use our, our foldable crane. So that's good to know. Where or where did I put my foldable crane? Okay, folded engine crane. Let's go ahead and apply you. Try this one more time. So, do we have two batteries? No, just one battery in here. So, removing the battery. Got it. We are going to drag that thing inside along with our, our little doodad here. We're going to remove the swappable, uh, swappable battery from here. Um, I think I need to move the one that's dead out of the way. Because I don't think it lets you choose between them when you're trying to install something into a vehicle, right? So if we do this now, so install swappable battery. Excellent. We're all charged up. I think I can now go turn on fridge and freezer. Uh, that there, turn on freezer. And we'll come outside with our ill-gotten gains and do the same thing. So install swappable storage battery back into that. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love how that works out. By the way, I also installed, just for fun, some dome light or sorry, aisle lights. So how does this work out? Oh, that actually is not too bad for lighting. That's cool. It's going to take three days of running that at full... I guess leaving the lights on for that to completely drain the battery. So if we turn this off, the, the dome lights or the aisle lights, if you will, it's going to take six days. So we can run the freezer and the fridge for six days. My entire plan here was that I wanted to move all this stuff on the ground into the freezer. So in theory, that should, if everything gets frozen completely, that should keep it safe or keep it um, good for quite a long time. Okay, let's go ahead and eat the uh, some smoked meat here. 400 calories. It's going to be a great bit of calories for a while. And the reason I'm, I'm kind of freezing everything is I, I don't quite know how I want to cook it right now. Oops, I think I drank a little bit too much water. There we go. Hydrated. I don't know how we can cook it and what the best manner of cooking will be yet. So, I wanted to make give myself a little bit of time. One thing I'd like to find out is the thing with the aisle lights. Is there a way to... Hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to answer my own question here. I'm fairly sure we can do something like 
if we, let's see, there's a frame here with aisle lights. So if I remove the aisle lights, remove the frame, install the frame on the other side up here, grabbing the torch from that. So if the frame is sitting there, I think we can do one more frame. Do we have any more frames that are spare? We do have a spare frame. And then I can turn the aisle lights on. Actually, can I can I move the controls? Can I remove the dashboard from here? Install the dashboard over here on the same thing with the aisle lights. I can. <laughs> oh, this is great. So what I can do is sit in my super cozy chair and basically turn on the aisle lights whenever we need to read. So that way we don't have to burn all of our fuel. Oh my god, I feel like a champion right now. <laughs> I love, I love, love, love how this works. This is so much fun. So we built our own little vehicle and we've extended the frame over. So all the only thing on this frame is just some controls. Uh, there's just a dashboard and some aisle lights that are just uh, glaring away at us. What else can we install right here next to us? Like a, a cup holder maybe? Uh, we can install a box, some doors, a V12 engine for no particular reason. This is so much fun. I love it. I really, really do. Security camera, why not? <laughs> All right. All right. So that's where I want to be, right? That I'm pretty excited about that. Do we still have any uh, stuff we can do? Tables? We do. Okay. So I put a dresser here. I'm eventually going to move all of our clothes to the dresser. We've got our books taken care of. I could put another row of tables down here. And I might just because I, I'm trying to subdivide all of my items out pretty much as, as um, evenly as I can to help me. Not evenly necessarily, but... I want to spread them out into as dedicated groups as I can possibly get because I love to stay organized in, when I'm playing. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time kind of um, moving all the rest of our stuff around and I'll be right back. Oh no, Sarah got the cold. I didn't even catch this. Um, we have got, contracted the common cold. Symptoms can be alleviated by medicine. So terribly sorry, Sarah. I was not paying attention and I must have missed the message about her getting a bit sick. So we should though be able to take, let's see, Bottle of cough syrup. Non-drowsy cough syrup. We will take one charge of that. I'm also going to take um, some multivitamins. I don't want to go through all of our antibiotics for no reason. We're just, we're just a little bit under the weather. So we'll take ourselves some cough syrup. And uh, we'll make sure that we're nice and hydrated, which we are. We're dead tired. So she's really exhausted. Look at our stats. Our stats are super down because of our sickness. Is she, is this symbol for sick or is this a symbol for being cold? I have no idea what this is. It makes it look like it's cold, but that might just be a bug symbol, like indicating that she has the flu or the, you know, a cold or something like that. Um, I do have to have her eat as soon as she gets up, but that's okay. You struggle to awareness. Being awake seems somewhat harder to reach today. I, mean, I assume because we've got the common cold there. So we're going to eat a bit of food. There we go. Our food is actually completely frozen solid. So all of these items here should last. A long time. I'm actually, I am going to move over this butchery refuse. I don't think... You know what? I'm going to check the wiki. Okay, in fact, we should be disposing of butchery refuse. And we want to be a little bit careful about it because apparently it can, in fact, attract um, other types of critters and things like that. So we're going to move this pretty far down the road into this other... into this tree line here. That should be fine. That's, that should be far enough where we should not be disturbed too much. Otherwise, we're good. Let's see, Sarah is still famished, so let's do... Hmm. Let's do this. Let's transfer some of that smoked meat over to the refrigerator. Oh, shoot! <gasps> did I leave all of my food outside? Crap, I think I did. Hopefully, this all has not gone bad by now. It was only like a night that I left it all outside, so let's try to move anything that can go into the freezer in there. Can I move the sledgehammer in there? <laughs> Apparently, I can. Okay, move the sledgehammer away. Away, away. Canteen, yes. Uh, metal tank, charcoal, fine. Other things, we can move all this out. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's move out the rotten zucchini, the rotten rhubarb, and the thermos. Okay. Now can I load all this in here? I can. Okay, cool. So our refrigerator is restocked again, and it's going to be cooling things down. So, ooh, you know one thing I did not quite consider is... When I want to craft, when I want to cook things, we only have a two-tile reach right now. So maybe what I should be doing 
is putting my like refrigerator here, my freezer here. I'll move the tables over so they're not really in the way. Ah. I should be able to kind of like step in and walk in like this. Okay, so that's going to be like how we, we enter our crafting area. I'm going to kind of relocate the freezer and fridge real quick. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So what we've got now is uh, we're basically our little crafting zone. I can walk in here and get on my seat and everything is in, in range of uh, my crafting. Because when we're making meals, a lot of our food is going to be in the refrigerator. Crap, which one's which? Uh, the central one is the fridge. Okay, so I want everything to the south uh, to go into the fridge, I think. Or did, did it actually retained everything then, did it? Get items on the ground. Okay, so all this stuff kind of fell over. Where did my frozen stuff go? <gasps> if it destroyed... No, there it is. There's all the, the, the meat and stuff like that. Okay. So... Fridge is... We'll just move everything to the fridge first. And I'll worry about the frozen whatnots later on. Okay. Now, if we move the stuff from here to here... Uh, what is... What went rotten here? Here's all the raw stuff. Okay, this is the stuff that I wanted to keep for a while. Anything raw and the scrap of meat. Okay, that works out. So is there anything rotten, number one? I don't think so. Let me check this and do G. No, this and G. No, I don't see any quick or any rotten items. Get items on the ground. There are some items there just kind of lying about. So I will move those over. Out of the way. Bring all this crap into one big pile. Remember, I'm trying to keep all my stuff together so I can do a little bit more organizing. Oh, God, that was a lot of stuff. <laughs> all right, cool. So if we want to cook, all we need to do is um, start a fire. Can I just leave my flint and steel next to the fire? I think I always pick it up, though, don't I? Uh, let's see. E this, start a fire. You actually have to have it on you. Okay, fair enough. So I'm going to do a bit more organizing, like I said, and I'll get this all squared away. Sarah's not doing too hot. I mean, other than the common cold, it's not the worst thing in the world, but she's just not feeling, uh, enjoying life too much right now. But I'm going to, I wound up working on kind of an interesting thing I didn't even realize. I, ma I made a bunch of lard from fat, right? And the cool thing about it is that when you get that, you wind up getting cracklins, basically pork rinds. And we got a lot of pork rinds from processing all that lard. And those pork rinds are 270 calories each which is a crap ton of calories, and we have a lot of it now. So that was actually really surprising and, uh, and happy, made me happy. And now even with all of those, let's see, where are the crack ones at, by the way? Where'd they go? You sneaky buggers, you. There it is. Cracklins are going to last more than six days. So I will eventually move them into the freezer. I'm going to try to keep most things in the freezer that are my kind of my long-term processed foods. And I'm going to try to, you know, eat whatever is going to spoil sooner. So that way, as soon as we get something that we can process, like a deer or a moose or something, we'll be able to cook it right away. But I did make some lard. And because of that, I believe I've got more options now. But we've got like, uh, what is this? Foie, foie gras? I don't know how to pronounce this. Sorry. Foie gras? This is a 352 kcal meal. It's going to give us one portion. Canned offal. Oh, canned offal would be kind of nice. We do, we actually, for, I forgot, we wound up getting a canning pot. So we could go ahead and make a couple bits of canned offal. Let's make that. Anything with preservation is going to be very, very useful. Uh, what to do with the water, 10. I mean, I can just drink the water, right? Am I drinking can? No, no, wielding the, uh, the offal. Okay, that's fine. Let's just put it, I suppose, into the um, metal tank here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what else can we what kind of stuff can we make that's long term? Salted meat 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 slice two days only. Okay. What about preservation? I want more and more preservation. Meat jerky would be very useful. That's gonna last for three weeks. Um this is going to use chunk of meat. We need to make more salt water. Well we actually have tons of seasoned salt. That's fine. We don't need to make salt water per se. Hardtack was from bread, right? I don't think I want to use it's from flour. I don't think I want to use that. Someone also mentioned something that I might want to look into down the road is uh, a way to process flour. And I have to double check what the item was that I needed to craft to make that. Okay, so looking at the entire list here. Cooked scrap of meat. 
cooked everything else here. Cracklins would just use chunk of meat. That's going to give you seven portions per chunk of uh, fat, rather. Animal cooking oil. What? Let's do. I don't know. Let's do this. Maybe it's going to open up other options. I really like that. Let's see. What do you want to do with the cooking oil? Hot. Oops. I don't know if I have a way to store all the cooking oil. Um, three liter glass jar. Okay, fair enough. Did that open up more items then? Not really. I think it's pretty much the same thing. We can make a ton of jerky. This is going to take us four hours, though, which we should be able to do. So let's process all of this uh, jerky. There we go. Now we're starting to get into the long-term storage. This is what Sarah's looking forward to. We want to have food for weeks. That's my goal, is to make sure that we've got a very large supply of food. She's exhausted again. Holy crap. <laughs> Poor Sarah. I wound up having her sleep right on this chair. I just made her pass out right where she was sitting uh, earlier when she had to sleep. We'll send her back in the back room here in a minute. I also am going to go ahead and boil some water. Uh, but yeah. Sorry, I keep interrupting. I keep trying to say I'm going to organize my stuff, but I keep getting distracted by other shiny things. So let's move the beef jerky into the freezer after we maybe have a bite. Ooh, beef jerky. Tasty, tasty. All right, cool. We'll move that into the freezer to try to keep that lasting a very long time. Let's also move the... Ah, the large stomach was went rotten. Whoops. That means the other stuff is going to go rotten too pretty soon. Let's get the stuff that's rotten out of the fridge. Now this stuff is all frozen though, so the rest of it's not going to go bad. Actually, I think I can just do... Put the large stomach right into the fire. Okay. I'm going to have Sarah go down for a wee bit of a nap, and we'll be right back. All right, so I think for the most part, <laughs> finally, we are completely, not completely, but we're, we're pretty well organized, right? So, it is day 48. Let's do a quick rundown, because holy crap, there's been so much going on. Sarah it has the common cold, so I've been trying to... Oh, she's happy. That's cute. Um, she enjoyed her pork rinds. I've been trying to get her rested as much as possible, so she's trying to rest pretty much right now to heal up. I also need to grab this, um, I think I wanted to do this, pour into the container. This is just a full tank of water, right? Metal tank of water. What do you mean I don't have a suitable container? Do I have to wield it? Oh, apparently I have to bring it with me. Okay, fair enough. I wanted to probably run a batch of water into clean water. And I think we have another tank up here. I'm trying to keep all of my tank-related items in the same spot so I can kind of know where they're at. Uh, metal tank of gasoline, gasoline, gasoline. I could probably combine some of this stuff, but we'll get to that in a bit. So, we have the following books. Uh, it's too dark to read. Let me see if I can... Oh, by the way, this is totally dead. I screwed up, and I think I left the aisle lighting on. So our battery is completely dead. So, on our to-do list is to take some of those solar panels we found, wherever they are, and make ourselves a solar array, which I thought we could do. 12 solar panels... Of four. Reinforced solar panel. Let me search for array, actually. Solar array. The Oh, you know what? The only thing we have is reinforced, not upgraded. So if we search for panel, reinforced solar panel. We have a ton of reinforced solar panels. We just don't have... Uh, we don't know how to make an array out of the reinforced ones. All we know how to do is make the uh, reinforced without the upgrade. That's really interesting. How can we do... Can we do upgraded? Upgraded reinforced solar panels. We need 12 upgraded... Re that's, a, that's the solar array. So apparently we don't know how to make an upgraded solar... Uh, an upgraded reinforced solar panel or array. Sorry, that's really confusing. But we'll get there. Where is my fancy array, by the way? Or my, my panel? Um, so here's all the upgraded solar panels, right? I grabbed quite a few of those. We've got a ton of upgraded solar panels. But we're not going to make an array out of that. I could just put them all on the ground, and I might put them all on the ground in a big uh, in a big square. The other idea is to try to maybe get more swappable batteries so I can charge more batteries at a time. That way we can have a nice stockpile of them, and when we bring them inside, I can load up maybe three or four batteries at a time instead of having to do uh, one or two. So maybe there's a way... Is there like a battery... I don't know, what kind of battery options do we have? Medium storage battery... Nothing that I'm seeing. Let me look at my crafting or my construction menu. I I'm thinking like um, a cup, like a, a wall-mounted or, or a freestanding storage racks, right? So a bunch of storage rack with batteries on them. Couldn't you kind of whip together something like that? No idea. 
Uh, battery. Maybe we don't have enough of any types of... Wait, what is this? <gasps> Hang on. Please hold. Can we craft these? A battery compartment mod that allows the use of medium batteries in tools that otherwise would not. I'm sorry. Can we make this even without having the skill in it? After all of this trouble? <sighs> medium battery mod. A battery compartment mod. No, no, no. This is... Okay, sorry. This is actually to make... Um, this is to allow the use of a large battery in a tool that otherwise would not let it. So it's it's like an extension of a battery. Okay, this is not the UPS thing. Whew. For a second, I freaked out. I was going to be pretty upset that we've been wasting so much time trying to get this stuff done. All right. Right. So we need to make... Uh, we need to get our batteries recharged for the fridge. That's That's number one. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and install... If we have spare frames somewhere... I'm just going to install some expanded frames on this uh, little contraption here. I don't really want to go for more runs into town because I think I just need to focus on, you know, getting some stuff done. Like the solar panels, like getting our electronics up to two and then reading the books from there. So let's, uh, let me work on that for a bit. I'm going to probably move these solar panels out. I need to get frames and I don't know if we have any frames left. Frame all. All around us, there's no frames, but I... Oh, hang on. What happened here? Yep, searching for... Okay, you're going to drive me crazy. Let's do area, frame. Okay, there's no frames in a 9 by 9 square area. I think I've only got frames down here. All my spare parts, everything like that is tucked in the bottom area here. Oh, just kidding. I totally lied. There are some steel frames left. How about that? So I will be able to add at least two more steel frames down onto our fancy contraption outside, and thus a couple more solar panels. Now, the upgraded solar panels, I believe, will get more electricity stored. So I am going to grab those solar panels. Panel. Perfect. And we'll move those to the east, and we're just going to do upgraded solar panel. Bop, 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 bop. We have a crap ton of those. If I could, maybe I will try to make more frames just so we can make use of all these upgraded solar panels. Right. So we have uh, four, six, seven, eight, eight upgraded solar panels and three frames. So we'll have to replace two. That's five. So we, we would have a couple left over. Uh, what do we need to remove this stuff again? We're going to need our wrench. So let me grab a wrench real quick from our tool bin. So basically, tools here, medicine here, weapons, ammo, magazines here, non-perishable food here, including seeds. And then I think I actually wanted to do a little bit more organizing at some point, too, and move any of my um, things like this. So aluminum cans can go away. Tin, no, it's mostly just tins. I, I think we're okay with leaving the cans of, of food in there. Or, sorry, cans of drinks. So tin can of spam, for example. Anything that's going to last quite a long time, I don't really want to put that in the, uh, in the fridge just to save on space. But otherwise, everything else is frozen. That's where we want to be. Uh, let's get Sarah a bit of food just for fun because we're right here. That piece of raw lung is going bad. Right, so, Mr. Wrench, need you again, as per always. I really want to make that survival, survivor belt one day. All right, remove the solar panel. Remove the solar panel, and now we're going to install the upgraded solar panel to both of those spots. Ooh, dropping everything. There's a cat outside. Hang on. Let's see if we've got... I could have sworn we had cat food somewhere. Did we ever get... Uh, it might be in our, our tin over here. Or all of our cans. Canned... Canned cat? No. <laughs> oh, I'm so bummed. I thought we had some cat food. Let's see if we can give it some jerky. There's a chunk of rotten meat. God, I hope everything didn't go bad. There's some meat jerky cold. So someone mentioned, with the whole animal thing, that you have to be adjacent to the animal... And you have to... God, it's so freaking fast. Let's try to sprint and chase it down. Uh, you have to be adjacent to the animal. And then you have to activate the food in your inventory. And you'll have the option of feeding it. I have no idea how to get to a cat. So, disregard. No kitties for us right now. We're going to stay in a realm of sadness and loneliness because we have no cats. Uh, I did try to start extending this damn uh, solar panel thing. But I'm going... I guess I'm going in the wrong direction. It's so weird sometimes how all of this is laid out because you can't tell the orientation of the frame so I have to kind of build a frame and see which directions it's going there we go 
Um, so it went this way. Can I kill this frame too? Okay, so I think it's just reversed. So if I put a frame here... No, our welder's out of gas. That's fine. Let's go ahead and install... You've got an upgraded solar panel. You've got one too. Let's install the other upgraded solar panel. Hooray! So now we're getting what? 1.1% uh, per hour. That's pretty good. That's a really good rate of charge. So I'm going to go find myself... Uh, let's see. Recharge the welder. We don't have any more battery cells. What about down here? I think we do. Recharge the welder with a crap ton of medium battery cells. We'll store that in our inventory. And continue building our lovely solar awesome powered plant of goodiness and happiness. God, why is that so weird? I built the frame one to the south, but it showed up... Maybe is, is it here instead? No. It, it's here and... What in the world? How does this even... It looks like it's crooked. Is the way it, it seems like. Did I build myself a crooked vehicle? Oh my gosh, I think it actually is bent from me dragging it around back in the day. Okay, that's fine. We're going to muck about. And um, I think this might be... Let's see. No, we'll keep messing around for a little bit. I've cut. I've uh, done a lot of cutting and fast-forwarding this episode. So I'll come back once everything's nice and ready to go. And we'll have more of a plan for what we want to do with Sarah in the near future. Sarah's been sick for so long now. I think it's been since... It's almost like as soon as we came back from our trip... Uh, she's been sick, so I'm trying to mix up and have, you know, vegetables and kind of change up the food that I'm normally eating, but uh, either way, we're doing pretty good in terms of we finished off this new solar, I guess, not really an array, um, but it's mostly just um, a way to charge up the battery. So, I need to find myself, or do I have it? I'm trying to think, do we have, where is my pile of vehicle thingies? Where did I drop that off at? I think it's here. So do we have battery? I was curious. I thought somewhere maybe I grabbed another swappable battery. But it doesn't look like there's a storage battery. Is, it, is this what we need? Hang on. Let me move this over to the wood ash. We'll move this here. I, th I think it might be the storage battery, right? Uh, storage battery and moving over to here. If I can press the right button. Okay, let's drag that outside. Now, swappable storage battery case, swappable storage battery. Can we make ourselves a swappable storage battery from... No, but let me set on my chair where um, all my books are. We can only do the battery mod. So storage battery case. Okay, so, so storage battery must be kind of a stationary standard um, battery that's not designed to out and in, so to speak. So... Uh, we'll have to see. Right, so on that note, let's move our thing over here. And what I did is I actually put the... Actually, we could probably keep this inside. And then that way I'd be able to use it in both spots, right? So I examine the vehicle, I remove the storage battery. Um, does it not count as a tool of lifting or one? Of one? Is it because we're in a doorway? That's interesting. I've got the engine crane next to me, so in theory that should count as the lifter that I require, but apparently because it's maybe through a doorway, it's not liking that. Yep, sure enough, that's what it seems like. So we've got our battery. Let's move everything inside. We'll grab our... I hate to do this every single time. That's why I'm hoping to get a kind of a much larger uh, permanent battery thing. Let's see, the, uh, storable, uh, the storage battery is right here. Install a new swappable. Can I switch between them? So this is the swappable storage battery. Does it automatically install the one that's full? Yeah, sure enough, it does. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and turn on the fridge and the freezer. And it's going to take six days until it's empty. We'll see. We'll see about that. Last time I, I, I disagreed. It didn't quite work out that way. Let's grab this, push this outside. And then we're going to install the swappable. But, you know, it's not too much of a pain. And if it's one of those things that actually would last a full five days, then I think I'd be okay with it. And it, the only reason it didn't last as long is I might have actually tried to keep that light on, the uh, the aisle light that I've installed here. So maybe that was what was giving me so much grief. Okie dokie. So we're in uh, pretty good shape. I think this might be a good place to put a cut in after we talk about a few more things. So everything is organized, right? We've got our... 
Uh, our fuel situation is a little bit short. That's the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about. But in terms of food storage, we're okay. Some of the food, it took me so long to get Sarah uh, organized and get her in a little bit healthier that we had some trouble um, getting our food. So some of the food went bad because it wasn't frozen. But that's okay. We know a lot more now than we did. By the way, there's still no... We don't know how to make charcoal, right? Uh, holding charcoal with a pilot light attached. Yeah, there's no way... I'll look into it and see if there's a material you have to burn in order to get charcoal. So we'll check that out. Uh, meanwhile, it is... One thing I haven't checked in a hot minute is... Grab a thermometer and go check the temperature outside. What time is it during the day? It is 7 o'clock at night, so it should be a little bit cooler. I don't know if the temperature actually changes as much as the day goes on. But unfortunately, we're still unable to plant anything. But, you know, we're kind of aiming for long-term stuff any hoots. So it may not be the most important thing in the world. By the way, we a while ago, we took a roadmap, and I finally read said roadmap. So we know all of the different areas that are around us. So there's Knox. Uh, the city of Knox looks like it's pretty big. Uh, there is another city down here that has a school. Uh, let's see, Middleborough. Williamstown is pretty huge. Now this has a hospital that's showing. I think this is because it's part of the quest where we had to go analyze the blood sample. So we could bring that with us and try to get down to Williamstown. Now, there is a pretty big gap, but we might be able to scoot through Pulteney or find another bridge across the river. That might be a bit of a challenge, though. So we might do a little bit of exploration down the road. And this, I love having this map. I don't know if this is the entire region or, I mean, look how much stuff has, re has, been, um, has been shown to us here. I have no idea if this is the entire map or if it continues to generate as you go. Didn't someone, I think someone told me, you have to move pretty far and then a tile will, will regenerate or generate a new tile. So any changes to the game mods or something like that will be um, will be present in the new tile set or the new, the new zone. So I don't know, maybe the game is just infinitely spawning. So we could just continue on our way in, in whichever direction we would want. So lots of work to be done on the vehicle. I'm a little bit better off on food and power now. Sarah is uh, still sick, but I, I'm hoping with, you know, maybe making some vegetable soup and some different items that we've got in the house, we might be able to get her over this cold that's lasted forever. And I'm going to work on maybe crafting some electronic items, like uh, what would give us a good level up here? I don't know. Does, a, does an antenna, it's one out of one for some of these items. I don't know if, if you get a level up if you're crafting something that's beyond your current skill level out of a book. So we could, for example, craft this heating element. We were at 55%, and we're now at what? Electronic 73%. That actually wasn't too bad. So 73%, just for funsies, while we're all here together. Uh, we failed to make it and waste some materials. We made the material. Oh, we fail, but we don't waste the materials. We're actually having some trouble making this thing. I have no idea if I'm actually doing this or not. Fail to make it. We're struggling right now. Okay. It takes you a long time to wield the thing. Electronics 96. So if we do this one more time, in theory, <laughs> in theory, we might be over two. Okay. So our electronics are finally at two. It's too dark to understand the stuff here. Yeah, because my all my stuff is uh, it's a little bit dark in the room. Let's turn on temporarily. Let's turn on the dome light or the aisle light. I, I want to show you this because I'm excited if we're actually going to be able to read one of our electronics books here so we're trying to do no ham radio is not what we want fabrication i thought we needed something at two we're aware did my electronics book to two go oh it's too big to pick up because i've got a bunch of crap in my inventory Whew, i was a little freaked out by that let's drop out uh the heating elements that we made here this random stuff um, kind of my spare parts. We'll do that. We'll do that. I have some injectable vitamin B. I was trying to see if that might help us out, but we need a syringe in order to inject that. And I don't actually think we have a syringe anywhere. Not that I've seen. Right. So there is elect advanced electronics. This is going to get us to level five. So I am finally going to grab a skew for electronics. Um, Electro, electronics, there we go. So, I'm going to spend some time off camera reading electronics, getting this skill up, and we'll see if this puts us in a place where we can start making the mod. If we can make the mod, then we are ready to rock, right? Then we're going to be able to get whatever vehicle we need 
and start modifying it for the long haul. And that's that's what the really the big restrictor for us is that everything we were using is is some sort of battery that cannot be charged. So we need to find a way to charge those batteries. If we if we've got that in the form of solar energy in a storage box, we're going to be in really, really good shape. All right, thanks so much for joining me for this rather long episode. I appreciate you guys. You're awesome. I love the support. I love the help. And uh, as always, if you want to join our Discord, it is in the link below. If you'd like to support the channel, I do have a Patreon. This is also in the link below as well. So thank you so much. Until next time, my friends, take care.